What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is the seventh round of the PTCO tournament series, and if we're, we win this, we're in cut. And if we don't win it, well, we're out of cut. All right, so call heads like always, and we won the coin flip. So my opponent is playing Psychic. So in my head, I'm thinking they're playing Giratina. And that's one of the disadvantages of playing online is that you kind of see what your opponent is playing. So what we're going to do is actually get out Giratina. We do have Wonder deck to shut down these Trepidant decks. All right, so press done. And he flips over Phantom, but no immediately. And there is a Phantom. So we know he's playing this deck. So what we're going to do is Compressor. Um, we are going to discard. <clears throat> um, let's see. So Giratina is in deck. That's fantastic. I'm going to discard Double Lampet. His hand's actually like really bad. And I'm going to discard an N. Um, yeah, that's fine. Now, the thing about Trevnet is, I mean, about Giratina, it only works for uh, breaks. So when he breaks, that's when he actually works. When he's not a break, we still can't use our stuff. So right now, I think what I'm going to do instead is just discard uh, three Lampets, okay? I am going to... Um, well, I guess we should have probably discarded something else. Like, discard another battle card so that we can play two. That's me being dumb. Um. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to double Puzzle of Time. Uh, for one and two. Alright, we will Compressor. And with the Compressor, we will discard one. Uh, two. And... Three. We do have like two Joltex prize, it looks like. We'll computer search. I forgot to discard a supporter card. Alright, we'll discard one and two. We'll grab a Shaman X. We will DC the active and Shaman setup for five new cards. Alright. Yes, I forgot to put a supporter card in the discard pile. Alright, there's uh still no supporter card. Fantastic. So put down Punkaboo. And we'll just pass four, five, six. We are knocking out a Trevenant next turn, which is great. <clears throat> uh, we can knock out a Trevenant next turn, which is, yeah, like I said, great. There's a Crushing Hammer. Uh, Tails, okay. And there's a Phantom coming down, okay. There's a Love Ball for another Phantom. Alrighty, can he get two Trevenants down? There's another Phantom coming to line, okay. Alright, Phantom hitting the field. Uh, a Slacking to the Bench Phantom, and a Sycamore discard his hand, draw 70 cards. Now, if he finds a Dimension Valley, he can just, like, Ascension, be good to go, and, um, or not Ascension, if he finds a, uh, ooh, there's a Heads on Crush Hammer, if he finds a Dimension Valley, he can attack right now. So, Rescue Scarf to the Bench, uh, Pumpkinboo, Shaman setup, okay. Now, with the Shaman coming down, I'm actually, am going to knock it out this turn to go down to four price cards. I am A-OK -okay with this. There's Nulch Ball, I'm gonna discard two cards from his hands. Probably get another Shaman, which if he does this, oh, he discards double Jirachi. If he gets another Shaman, that's really good for us because we can knock out one and then knock out two and then hopefully find a way to knock out the third one. Uh, right now, no four, five, six. Okay, he he has to find a Dimension Valley right now. All right. Does he find a Dimension Valley? And there is a Dimension Valley, so he will be able to get a Trevenant out this turn. Um... Do we go for the Shaman Knockout or not? There's a Trevenant coming down. On to our turn. Alright. So I think I am going to put down a Mew and just Night March the active just to knock it out. I think that's a better play. Because right now he's not threatening a Trevenant break. We can knock out this guy. Go down to uh, take another prize card. There's an Ultra Ball going to our hand. Okay. So we see another uh, Phantom coming down, alright, it's on to our opponent's turn. He doesn't know we play Giratina either, which is great for us. There's a Trevenant come down, and if he has a Psychic Energy, he can Tree Slam right here. There's a Psychic Energy, okay. And an end. so we'll get 5, he gets 6. We are down 2 DCEs, which is the only uh, scary part right now. Alrighty, so there is the Giratina in our hand. Okay. So there's a tree slam for the knockout, uh, doing 20 to maybe the Punkaboo, or uh, yeah, Punkaboo and Mew. So go down to five prize cards, okay. I'll sit in the Mew, and do we top deck a DCE, and we do. Uh, so we're gonna grab teammates, and with teammates, we're gonna grab double DCE, okay. We will DC the active, and 
go for a Night March for the knockout. He will get the Trevenant back into his hand, but we can knock it out again, which is fantastic. Okay, so we got a four price cards. There's a Joltik. Okay. All right. He gets the Punk Moon, everything back in his hand. All right. So onto our opponent's turn. Going to draw a card. There's a Fanta coming down. Um, He can't attack this turn unless he, plays, unless he has a Wally. Um, yeah, that's the only way he can attack if he finds a Wally. All right, so Psychic to the bench. Uh, Phantom, Enhanced Hammer discarded the Psychic of the DC. I'll be active. And Ascension into a Trevenant, okay? Once again, our opponent cannot attack this, attack again this turn, but he will. Um, <laughs> oh, man. He will be able to shut down our item cards next turn because he does have another Trevenant in the hand. So put a DC on the active. And we will just Night March for the knockout. Okay. Doing 140. We've got out of three prize cards. So there's no way we can attack next turn unless we top deck a life center to break up a shaman and then attack with his pump kaboo. That's the only out we have. Okay. Alright. There is a Phantom Trevor to come down. Okay. A crushing hammer. Tells. Um, oh, he might have a Psychic Energy. If he doesn't have a Psychic Energy, he actually can't attack this turn. Alright, so there's an Ultra Ball. Gonna start two cards from his hand. Alrighty, so he discards a Life Center and a Silent Lab. Okay, so he does play Silent Lab. It doesn't matter too much right now. Uh, he has to find another Psychic Energy. How many Psychic Energy in discard pile? So two, three, I mean, he has plenty of outs. Tree Slam does knock us out. There's another Theta coming down the field. Okay. Uh, Fanta come down. And a VS Seeker. Four sick. It should be a Sycamore. He should definitely Sycamore here. Like, he could end, go down to five, but if he was, yeah, he is going to go for in. All right. Does he find a Psychic Energy? That is a million dollar question. All right. So, we go down to three. We find a Catcher, Escaper, Punkaboo. Okay. And there is a Psychic Energy. He will treat Slam for knockout. There's a Love Ball. Okay. Alrighty, so now we're in trouble. There's a crushing hammer. I mean, he already could take a knockout, so I don't know why he played that. Uh, Tree Slam does the 60 to the active. Don't know why he uh, played the other crushing hammer, but I'm not going to complain. That's all for crushing hammers. We'll put Pumpkaboo in the axe spot onto our turn. We get a VS Seeker, so put up Pumpkaboo. We'll pass. Okay. Alrighty, if he gets a Trevenant Breakout this turn. And we top deck a Giratina. And that'll be amazing. Alright, so there's an Ultra Ball going to start two cards from his hands. Going to find the good old um, Trevenant Break. So this Trevenant Break coming down, okay. Do we top deck the Giratina? If we do, I think we win this game. Giratina coming down. I mean, Trevenant Break coming down, okay. There's a VS Seeker. Or Sycamore, most likely. Yep, going to Sycamore. Discard his hand, draw seven new cards, okay. All right, so Sycamore, discard his hand, draw seven new cards. What do we top deck? There's a Rescue Scarf to the active, okay. Uh, Super Rod showed a three combination of uh, Pokemon energies back into his deck. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so uh, Trevenant, Phantom, Trevenant, okay. Does he get a Trevenant down there? So, so Silent Fear. Alrighty, guys. A uh, moment of truth. What do we top deck? We'll send a Punkaboo. Yeah, we're going to send a Punkaboo. If we top deck a Giratina, we can take a knock on the start and we hit a Shaman. Alright, so we're going to Shaman. First three. Can we find a Giratina? And <sighs> we don't find one. Alright, so press done. On to our opponent's turn. Mm, that's very unfortunate. Um. Yep, that's not good, guys. So, there's a uh, Charter coming down. Okay. If we top... Okay, so Silent Fear for the knockout. Doing 30, 30, 30. Okay. So, 8. Alright, so we're going to sit in this Shaman. We have to hit... Uh, tr we have to hit Giratina right here. And there... Oh, my goodness. Alright, so we're going to put down Giratina. We're going to Float Stone this guy. No. All right, all right, we got to think about this. What do we want to do now? All right, so I'm going to VS Seeker. For teammates. 
Okay, I don't know what's in our deck, which is very unfortunate. Some of teammates. Grabbing a puzzle time and a pumpkaboo. Yep. Um, yeah, I'll grab those two cards. Okay. We will float stone, double puzzle. Okay. And with the double puzzle, we're going to grab a DC and computer search. We're basically going to put my opponent on a clock, kind of. Um, unless he has a Trevenant plus energy, he, Trevenant break plus energy, he wins right now. Oh, man. Um, we can Sky Return for 30. No, okay, so we have to... Man, what do we do here? Hmm, we're in trouble. Okay, we get Computer Search for Tool Scrapper. Um... I think right now what I'm gonna do is just sky turn for 30. Uh, no, cause then six, seven, eight, nine. So he doesn't knock out this shaming aid either. So I'm gonna put a DC on the active. And I think I am just going to sky turn for 30, okay. And send in the other shaman, okay. Alright, so on to our opponent's turn, I'm going to draw a card. I guess I should have maybe catch out of this Trevenant and get it stuck in the axe spot, maybe? Or escape rope and see who he sent up. There's a Psychic Energy. That guy, so he did have a Psychic Energy. We would have lost. There's a Team Scroll right discarding our DCE, and uh, that is game now. That is 100% game. Alright, yep, yeah, we have no energies left. We can't attack. So, we're going to exceed this game. Um, that pretty much did it right there. Alright, so on to game number two. Hmm, that's very unfortunate. All right, so I'll go first. Um, yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's probably not a good matchup for us. Like with the crush namers and all that kind of crap. <laughs> all right, so we'll see. We'll see. We got to believe, guys. Can't give up. Can't give up like this. Ugh. All right, so putting it's uh, Trevin again. Okay. All right. So I won the point flip. Um, yes, I would love to go first. Thank you, sir. Thank you for asking. Okay. Um, all right. So we get a mulligan and press done. We do have a hacks turn one, which can be really nice. That's something I forgot about. Like I haven't played this deck in a couple. I got. I seem like almost a week or two, and I kind of forgot stuff in this deck. Like we could have hacks last turn, turn one, and maybe shut down shamans. That could be really nice. Um, but nope. We gotta start with the own shaman. Cool beans. All right. Press done. And, um, yeah, let's start the party. Let's see what's going to happen, guys. Does he find a turn one Jirachi? Uh, draw a card, and there's a Phantom. Okay, we'll put the Punk Boo. We will Compressor, and with Compressor, we will discard. Wow, really, we, we prized multiple. Uh, two Lampets, all right? So we'll discard those. We'll Ultra Ball, discard Lysander, and a Lampet. Okay. Grab a, another Pumpkaboo, and I think I'm just going to second one, which does get rid of our puzzle time, but kind of don't have a choice, maybe? All right, so Target Whistle, Battle Presser, Puzzle Time. All right, so we're going to Compressor, discard one, two, and, and uh, an N. Man, he's gonna get a turn one, and I don't have a way to retreat this guy, which is very annoying. So I'm gonna compress away these three. I'm gonna via seeker for an N, and unfortunately have to pass. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, we'll put down Mew and pass. Alright, so our opponent is going to draw a card. Uh, they get a Trevenant out this turn. We can't attack. Um, there's a love ball for another Phantom. Okay. 
All right, Phantom come down. All right, no Floodstone, no Escape Rope, Shaman. What are you doing? All right, so another Phantom come down. We could like Shaman loop, but as you saw, he plays Team Scorgard, so that that like option doesn't really work. There's a Dimension Velet coming down, a red card, medium four. That's fine. Our hand's not that great, and uh, doesn't get any better. Does not get any better. So Team Scorgard not gonna find anything. You're gonna notice our hand is terrible. And going to Ascension for a uh, Trevenant. Okay. Alrighty. <sighs> Alright, so try to come down. On to our turn. Let me talk to DC, please. <laughs> Alright, top deck DC. Well, Sky Return, the only thing that is scary is that he plays that Team Scorgrunt, so he can VS Secret Team Scorgrunt, discarding our DC. Hmm. Alright, try to break come down. Alright. Um, four, five, six, which we cannot knock out right now. Unless we top deck a Giratina, then we can fight a Fear Belt, and then swing for knockout. He didn't get down a, um, what is it? A Team Scroll Guard, so that's good. So discards two Sycamores for another Phantom. Okay. Do we find a Giratina? There's a Shame coming down, which could, I mean, obviously it's good for us. Red card us to four. Thank you again, sir. Okay. Computer Surge, DCE. Do we top deck the Giratina or the Shaman? Um, there's a setup. We're gonna get three new cards. Or yeah, three more cards, okay. Does he find an energy? Ooh, that was, he could lift that. Rescue scarf to try to break. Uh there's like slight energy, and we'll see a uh uh Silent Fear doing 30 to everybody, so he can win next turn if we don't find anything. Own our turn. Yep, that is game. Yep, we have a DC, but it doesn't do anything, and he'll sound fear, knock out all of our Pokemon, and I guess we should have put down Mr. Mime. I think he has 70 HP. Uh, I don't know why he's attaching a Slack Eater. He's already won. Um, but yep, there we go. This turn one item lock is uh, not very fun. I mean, Trevor's not really good nowadays. Neither is Nightmarge. It just loses the dark, and I mean, that's why we just say cut at any at St. Louis. But there we go, guys. Unfortunately, we did not make cut, but that's fine. Nightmarge is not... It's, it's, okay, to, it's okay to play, but... It's not very good anymore. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Alrighty. Bye. Alright guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.